me greet you all in Jesus' name. I just want to thank God we are here. And I'm seeing the wedding. Can you just show me your excitement? <laughs> Wow. I will just read scripture. I was telling people that I, I still feel very, very tired because of heat. But when I see wedding, I, I'm awake now. <laughs> Let me see excitement. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to take this opportunity to, to thank God for Zotetsi family and Mkwena family. They, they want us to bless their children. Let me just read the scripture we know, Mark 10. If we read verse 9. It says, therefore, what God has joined together, for no man must separate. Amen. Can you just see that verse there? Yeah, you want to therefore, say oh. therefore. What God has joined together, let no man separate. I want to speak some words there. Jesus was addressing the reasons of no divorce. And he said, therefore, if it's God who joined them together, even if a man wants to separate, it will be impossible. Let me try to say that I've been checking many marriages. I found that still it is possible that God can be separated. From those marriages. You find that what joined them together is not God. They can be joined because of profession. They can be joined because of money. Family. But if it's God, no man can separate. Therefore, we need to involve God if we want to be in marriage. So that when challenges come, that makes people to separate, we won't separate. 95% of marriages today are based on something. 95% ya manyalo ama mutali weleji ntoche iche. Yeah, these people, you could see when they were trying to justify divorce. They say, Moses, you know, agreed to give us letters. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, they say, Moses agreed to give us letters. Why they didn't just look at the mistakes that can make them to separate in Why the why they have to get letters to approve their separation? Why Many times we want to make people to understand our separations. That is why we also want people to understand our marriage. That is why Here is two people joined together. Man is not supposed to be involved. When they met, the parents were not there. The friends were not there. Why now we have to tell friends our problems? 
Why do we have to rush to the parents and make them sick with our problems? Ah, why reketi me la ba tswadi ngradi ya ure balwa le balwa li shakadi tabachari na chama tata. Many of our parents are sick because we could not consider God in the beginning. Ba tswadi barna ba nchi ba lwa la kaoba na zang ngarile ba le mudi muda tu amatumo. The scripture say, let me read it. It says, therefore. Therefore. It means there are some reasons that many people gave. If it's God who joined them. Even if they, you can try to separate, it will be impossible. Let's pray that today. Your marriage will be from God. It's better you took long not to be joined when you are trying to search if it's from God. Then you rush to be joined when your marriage is based on the things that will end I want to pray for you today. When you are about to witness these ones who are joined by God. Is your marriage joined by God? If it's not joined by God, very soon it will first a taste. Very soon it has to be tested is, if it's from God. Marriage which is not joined by God. There is no way it will face that test. The test we never desired. The challenge we never thought it will come. To, come. to shake if truly is from God. But if it's from God. It's still going to show it's from God. I pray that you involve God in your marriage. Today. I pray that young people today they seek from God. Those who are to marry, lift up your hands. I pray that God will guide you. To get someone from God. Let me hear amen. amen. Let me see those who are married lift up your hands. I pray that you pass the test. Pass that test. That test all the marriages. Whether there's no money. Sickness, challenges, challenge eating, one week, another strong. Pass this test. I pray that you receive the grace to prove that your marriage is If you believe, say amen.